Uh, 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 sh- no, you, yeah. So, mata, waka, tangi, hanga, ko, au, au, o, tamatea, turi, pu, ka, ka, piki, ma, u, maunga, horo, nuku, foka, iwi, he, nua, ki, tana, tahu, to his lava! Easy for you to say. <laughs> Ha! Oh, 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 oh. Scroop my nipples. Scroop them. Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, everyone. Episode 135. One thirty-five, one thirty-five, one thirty-five. Here's today's card. It's tradition around here to show you the card, but it's not tradition to show you what's on the card. But you'll find out anyway because we'll talk about it, right? That's the that's the way this goes. That's the way this goes. Janice, thanks for the for, for the fluid. Thanks for the fluid, Janice. Thanks for the fluid, Janice. Fluid, Janice. Today we're sucking back some Dasani lime sparkling water. Ooh, baby, you love the way every day. Oh, you can't sing that shit. YouTube will take your video down. They will claim you. YouTube's being a bad boy lately. YouTube's being a bad little son of a bitch. Fucking nasty, dude. That's not even any better. Janice! No, you, never mind, Janice. It's okay. Uh, it's okay, Janice. You can just go away. Just strap on my boots. Um, YouTube's being a bad boy, everyone. YouTube's being a bad motherfucker. Okay? If you haven't heard... Um. What's his face iDubs. You know iDubs? We all know iDubs, right? If you're a, if you're a proper member of the YouTube community, you will know that iDubs exists. And you will know who he is. And if you don't, well, f- figure it out. He used to have a great, great series. Fantastic. Low budget, but it was fantastic series called Content Cop. Okay, one of his. What was that? Oh, that's just people moaning and groaning. They're moaning, all right. Okay, so there was this one episode of Content Cop. Okay, where he talked about uh, Leafy back when Leafy was in his prime. He shit all over that guy. He, he imagine Leaf. He was he shit on Leaf. He shit all over the Leaf. Uh, folded it up and smushed it in his face. He did. Idubs did a great job at roasting people in content cops. And the Leafy one was I don't know if it was his most popular one, but it was definitely up there. I'm pretty sure it was definitely the most popular one. I still remember when it came out. At the time, I didn't really know who Leafy was. I mean, I heard his name tossed around all over the place. But I never really bothered to check out his content. And I still don't really know what he does to this day. Because I don't care about Leafy, okay? But what I do care about is iDubs and what he had done did uploaded. Because he is a relic of time. That episode of Content Cop that iDubs created what it is was a piece of history, my friend. That's history. And YouTube is messing around. They're like, okay, we got this new cop of shit. 
We're getting policies here and there. Out your anus. We want no more bullying. So here's the deal. We're going to start removing videos if they resemble what we feel is deemed as, uh, you know, enticement of bullying. So those bastards went ahead and removed iDubbbz. Uh, content cop episode of Leafy, as you can see here. Uh, I Dubs, German dad from the seventy, great name. He uh, he po he po he posted this tweet. It says, "Download your favorite bullying vids before YouTube takes them down." He got this email. Your video has been removed from YouTube. Hi, I Dubs. As you may know, our community guidelines describe which kind of we allow. But ba da ba da, your content cop Leafy was flagged for us to review. Upon review, we determined that it violates our guidelines, and we've removed it from YouTube. How insane, yo! <laughs> I don't say yo. I don't say that. Okay, maybe it's not insane, but it's not. Sh it shouldn't be happening. I wish I knew how many views this had before it was deleted. And to be honest, I was going to watch this. Because Gus and Eddie, they did a recent podcast. It was actually one of, the, one of my favorite episodes of their podcast because they revealed that Gus wasn't uh, in a book that he said he was in about cheese. But anyway, that's something else. But in that episode, they talked about this exact episode of Content Cop. I think Eddie asked, what would be your favorite, you know, in the last decade, what was your top favorite moment in YouTube? And I believe Gus said, sorry, I just like wiping my nose. And rather than doing it off camera so you don't see, I'm just using the mic to hide. Boom! Where was I? God, yeah, Gus Gus said he hit one of his favorite moments was the Content Cop Leafy era. Oh, they're getting mad downstairs now. They went from moaning to madness. Let's take a listen. I hear nothing. Uh, so, so, you like the word so? Because I'll say it again. It was a you know, like imagine, and this happens, and it has been happening, and it will continue to happen. Imagine uh, the government deciding that they're going to put these new laws in place. That prevent bullying. Okay, that's fine. But then they look back in history and they say, oh, what the Nazis did, that was bullying. So we're going to pretend like that shit never happened. And we're going to remove that from every history book. We're going to remove that from Google searches. You can't just remove a piece of history. You know what I'm saying? It happened. It happened before these regulations were put in place. You know? This goes for everything. Even uh, when we're talking about fossil fuels, cars, vehicles that were per that were uh, manufactured before the mandate of having uh, um, you know proper emission vehicles, they if they were produced before that new legislation was put in place about controlling emissions, they don't have to follow the guideline standard of uh, what a car is supposed to produce. They can stay the way they are. They call that pre-emissions. If you have a vehicle that's pre-emission, people look up, look at you in different ways. Some people will say, hey, you're a son of a bitch. Other people will say, hey, I love that. I love pre-emissions, you know? But either way, whatever side you're on, you keep it. You keep the history. Because it was there before the change. How could iDubs have predicted that YouTube was going to implement these policies? 
You know what I'm saying? You can't, YouTube, you just can't start removing videos based on the new guidelines. You have to, you put the guidelines in place, and from there on forward, if anything comes in your path that violates those guidelines, then yes, those can be removed. Eddie Burback said it himself. He said it, he, 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 he touched on this uh, idea that I'm discussing. Philip DeFranco talked about it, and he talked about it, Eddie talking about this. It's just, if it's it's a little frustrating, even though you know, but it's not like fully frustrating because it's not happening to me yet. Although it has, in a different sense, before this shit, I had. You know, I uploaded a long time ago a video of me wearing my Halloween costume. It was uh, one of those inflatable ones. The Grim Reaper was holding me, and my head would pop out. You know, you know those, you know those suits. It looks like two people in one, but there's really only one person in the inflatable costume. And I made it look like the Grim Reaper was uh, poking my behind with his uh, stick, if you know what I mean. I'm saying it that way because uh, if I say the actual title of what I titled that video, that will get me flagged. The video was titled uh, uh, "Something by the Grim Reaper." Just, just okay. Just imagine you're getting, uh, you know, when someone puts a stick in a hole. Why am I doing this? Someone puts a stick in a hole, and that, that person with the hole didn't want the stick in the hole. What do you call that? It starts with an R, ends with uh, E. And then uh, the past tense has a D at the end. So, re by the Grim Reaper, if you know what I mean. That was the title of the video. And it was fucking hilarious. Got Got a good amount of views got featured on Bob Jen's channel. Anyway, that was a great moment in my YouTube, early YouTube career. Not career, because it's not even close to a career yet. <laughs> but that was, uh, that was a happy moment for me when that video blew up and I made people laugh. And YouTube just went ahead and took that away from me a few months ago. Luckily, though, I made a podcast episode about it right before it was... Because they gave me a week to leave it uploaded, to dispute it or whatever, and I did, but not that didn't matter. You know, I'm a nobody. So while it was still available, I made a, a podcast episode about it. So you can, you can go back and find that episode and see the actual video that way. Um, uh, but that, uh, that episode of the podcast may get taken down eventually. Who knows? It makes a guy wonder, what is the future of the Jewtubes? Did I say that? I meant YouTube. Um. I, st I, I definitely need more sound bites. And I also need guests. Because I'm getting sick of doing this with just myself. <laughs> I did not even a guest. I just need some one, maybe. I don't know. I might just be in a bit of a rut right now because it's the middle of winter. Can't go outside because it's cold. It's just the seasonal. What is it? Sad seasonal something disorder. I don't know, bro. Why are you asking me? F you. Uh, Ethan Klein is up to no good again. I also, if you're wondering why this episode was up, well, you're not wondering because no one's wondering. I'm not even going to explain it. This episode's getting uploaded pretty close to the last episode that was uploaded because I waited too long to upload the last episode. And so if you wait too long, then the news is old news. I'm telling you, if you wait more than three days, you might as well just forget about it. So this stuff I'm talking about is old a few days old. So I got to get this episode uploaded as soon as possible. 
so I can get back into this rhythm here. Unfortunately, the internet is uh, slow as molasses. Any hoozle, any hoogenhagen. Uh, Ethan, no, I didn't say anything, Google. Stop it. Ethan got some shit with BTS, and or the fans of BTS, I should say. Because they have a real problem. The fans of BTS are so... They're so addicted to BTS. They're so unbelievably passionate about BTS that if anyone talks any sort of slight joking, any sort of negativity, even if it's in joke form, they absolutely come back in full force attack mode. And, you know, like a bunch of... uh, like a bunch of uh, whatever you want to call them. I don't, whatever, you know. I was going to make fun of them, but I'll, I'm, uh, no. <laughs> BTS fans, let me tell you something about them. They are not, they're just not, I don't know, man. They're really passionate. I'll just say that. Ethan made a simple comment while watching the YouTube Rewind. The YouTube Rewind. Listen to me. I sound like a fucking boomer. Ethan made a comment about BTS while watching 2019's YouTube Rewind. And, you know, I understand why the backlash happened against him because of how he worded it and the words he used like you can really predict nowadays when you're going to get in shit just based on what you say and how you say it and Ethan should have known I mean he did know he said it he even said it himself in this you know as he was talking about BTS he said I'm going to get in shit for this so he knew it was coming but he didn't know it was going to come this full force And that's the thing. Like, you could say something about someone or something, and then people will completely take it out of context. Or even leave it in context. And just because you said something or said a certain word, it turns into complete chaos. And they won't do anything they can to make sure that you are silenced and forgotten about and careers ruined. They, you know, BTS tries it with, or the BTS fans try it, they try, they've they tried it with fucking multiple people. Every time they're mad because someone said something against BTS, they go on Twitter and they write, blank is over party. And then it goes trending. And no one cares. After a day, it goes away. They've never been successful with their is over party. And so the H3, H3 is over party was trending on Twitter for a good solid day at least. I got up to number four or three on on trending. So yeah. So here's a, here. Let, if you haven't seen it, which you probably have, here's the clip of Ethan talking about BTS. BTS. I don't get the BTS thing. I'm 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 just gonna say it right now. I don't like K-pop. I hate K-pop. I don't get BTS. K-pop. They look like they're just a bunch of. How did this become a thing in Western culture where all these grown men and little girls are jerking off to little K-pop boys? <laughs> it's like a little fetish. It's like a little twink gay fetish about these K-pop boys. Does Ian have an insight on? Okay, a little twink gay fetish. Let's just hear what Ian has to say. K-pop. Ian, do you like K-pop? What do you think about BTS? I mean, I I don't like it, but oh, I mean, wow. it's just pop. I don't know. It's just pop music. You know, but you uh, like F-tier, pop. You're easy. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's pretty. But that's it. That got him uh, shit all over. They shit all over his face. And normally. You know, I can tell when Ethan's gonna get shit on for the stuff he says. I I usually I'm usually pretty good at predicting. When, like I'll listen to him and I'll be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shouldn't have said that, Ethan. 
not that I disagree with what he says. I just know that the the public, the viewers take things wrong. They take it wrong. Okay? Remember back in the day when we could just joke about anything and no one, I mean people would care about it. People would get offended, but it didn't matter. You know, you could joke about stuff. Someone would get offended, but your boss didn't give a shit. Okay? You continued to have a job and continue to work, and you could continue to make the jokes. But now you make a joke, and your boss will say, Hey, wait a minute. You're, you're, you're racist. I'm going to fire you. Not that, uh, yeah, you know. It's just the woke culture, as the as the childs are saying nowadays, is it's gone a little bit too steep. We're in the thicket, boys. Uh, shit's um, shit's gone sideways, but it's always for the best, right? We'll figure it out. We will can 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 figure it out. Why don't we? Should we watch a little YouTube clip, or not a YouTube? Just a clip. Gus Johnson. I already talked about him at the beginning of the podcast, and I've talked about him before. Gus Johnson is he might be my favorite comedy YouTuber right now. Actually, for the yeah for comedy, he's definitely my favorite. This guy. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> it's unbelievable how funny he is. And you might not like his humor, but this, the, all the humor that Gus does, the way he does it, is exactly what I like. I love everything about him. And he posted. <laughs> so I'm giving him full credit here. You know, I'm not just playing his video and pretending like it's mine here. He po he loves posting just short little quick comedy sketches. Quick, super quick. Filmed on the phone. But they're beautiful. It's his act that's the beautiful part about it. You don't need high budget to make good content on YouTube. He <laughs> God, this is so this is okay, we're just we're just we'll just watch it. This is it's very good. Let's just watch it. Very good. Very good. This is an example of the kind of comedy that Gus Gus does. And if you haven't checked him out, you have to check him out. You have to check out Gus. Hey. <laughs> I can't. Mom mom said that. <laughs> That she's going to be taking our Nintendo Switch because she saw the titties we were playing on the walls with Splatoon. <laughs> you said you were going <laughs> to... You said you were going to delete that save file. We talked about this, Kyle. <laughs> notice the snot oh my god like how fucking perfect is that wow that is beautiful everything about it pulls out the gun he's got a snot in his nose like you don't expect anything it's you know it's so good because every second that passes is filled with surprises. It's a 46 second video. <laughs> and after every time he pauses in his sentence, you're not predicting what's going to come next. <laughs> oh, fuck, it's good. I love Gus Johnson, dude. This guy is beautiful. Nothing like a... What is this podcast? 
I've been I've been listening to Casey Neistat um on 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 bleh, on Philip DeFranco's a conversation with podcast. And it got you know, everything that fucking comes out of Casey's mouth is just brilliant. And he's taught me a lot about YouTube. The guy is fucking a genius. I love him. But he was they got into the conversation about Phil asked Casey something along the lines of uh uh who do you think is or what uh who do you think is the next upcoming YouTuber or what genre do you think is the next you know upcoming genre that's going to completely blow up and take over YouTube and I paused the video when it when he asked that question and I th- and I I thought about it at first and you know I didn't think about it long cuz I instantly told myself okay it's obviously podcasting and and conversation conversational stuff right and I played the video and then that was the first thing he said was this conversations podcasts and I I was just like so it was just so happy because I knew I know I've been on the platform pretty well since day one but um you know I'm still a nobody on the platform but anyway <laughs> I still I understand the ins and outs and I knew in 2016 you know, because at that time, I, t- I was like, well, what am I got to do? I got to figure out what the fuck I'm going to do on YouTube. Yeah, I can do the little comedy skits, continue that. But that, you know, I, I felt like that was dying away. And it was. And it'll it's still here, but it's you got to do it right. Like, like Gus. Gus does it right. But I said, what is happening on YouTube right now? And what can I get into that is going to absolutely take over. And I knew podcasting was. I'm not saying Casey knows everything. But it just felt good to hear from someone like Casey that podcasts. Podcasts are huge right now as it is. It's not like podcasts are something that can just be. That not a lot of people listen to. Like literally everyone either has a podcast or listens to podcast, But it's still not. Uh, as big as it will be someday. It'll get to a point where podcasts are going to be so unbelievably uh, encompassing everything on the internet that it's everyone's going to be involved in them. That makes no sense, but you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> they're big right now, but they're going to get bigger. Like, people know podcasts exist, but not everyone is invested in podcasts as much as I am. All I do is watch podcasts and make podcasts. I mean, I watch other stuff, too, on YouTube, but I say this too much. But I wanted to talk more about Casey. What what else was I going to say? He, uh, fuck, I had something to say about him. Right. He mentioned that podcasts will continue to expand. But what we're seeing with podcasts is that it's just, although we film the podcast, a lot of people, and upload them, it's still just a sit-down, microphone-in-your-face environment where there's the odd person stepping out of that comfort zone and making podcasts more of a visual aspect for YouTube. And that's something I knew I had to do when I started this podcast, but I kind of faded away from it because I've been influenced too much by the regular people. I shouldn't say regular, but the people who do podcasts. It's all sort of the same format. Mic in your face, laptop, a TV to look at, but you're just sitting having a conversation, which is fine. That's what I love about podcasts. But to do it on YouTube, it would make more sense and you would change the game. 
by putting some sort of YouTube element in it, right? And so I'm working on ideas right now on what I can do because I don't want to get too specific and give away my ideas. Not that anybody watches this shit anyway. But there's, you know, in order for this podcast to blow up, I got to change the game. And I'm in the perfect position right now. I have 135 episodes released. So I'm experienced a decent amount in the just straight up podcast genre. So I need to expand what I'm doing here and change the game. Because I can do what everyone else is doing for years and years. But it's not uh, recomm- it's not guaranteed that I am going to get any sort of traction. I mean, I'm I will, but it's uh, I can see what I need to do, and I can s- I I see everyone doing a podcast, but I see everyone doing podcasts the same way, and so I got to do something to change it up, to spice it up, majorly, and so. You know, within the next few episodes, it's going to change. I'm, sh- I'm, I'm thinking, like, it's still going to be the same idea, but I'm going to change it up. I don't want to reveal any ideas I have yet, but it's going to happen. This pod, the Dynamite Gizmo podcast is going to be different. And I'm going to say it's going to be better. It's going to be completely unique. And I can't freaking wait. I've been saying the podcast has been shitty the last few episodes. And you know what? I said it was going to get better. And you know what? It will. Trust. You got to trust my bust. Uh, Teddy Fresh, yo. YouTube removed. Because Ethan, there was a clip of Ethan on the YouTube Rewind. And YouTube removed the Teddy Fresh logo from his shirt. What a bunch of assholes, right? No. No. Don't say that. You can't say that. Anyway. So be prepared for the DGP to get spiced up a bit, yo. I don't say yo. So. Just know that. Um, I just want one, well, two final things here. Uh, I mentioned MKBHD last episode, maybe the episode before, I can't remember. He's doing uh, Retro Tech. Okay, he's reviewing Retro Tech. Second episode was just released, and I'm loving the I'm loving the series so far. Although he does have a segment in his series called Dope or Nope, where he, you know, review looks at uh, products with a, another celebrity guest, whether it's Bill Nye or or Casey Neistat, or I just need, you know, he's got, he's got people, looks like he has fucking Kevin, uh, what the fuck's his name, Kevin, Kevin from Shark Tank, and Dragon's Den, Kevin O'Leary, I think he's gonna be in the next episode, because he posted a pic of him, anyway, but the Dope or Nope segment, there is already a, a pretty damn popular, uh, web series on YouTube already called Dope or Nope based around the same concept that that uh, Marquez has and I don't know if he knows about this channel or not I don't know and does Dope or Nope the real Dope or Nope with Matthias does he know about Marquez I'm sure he does I think I got a hair in my mouth. I don't. I just want to say that Eminem and Nick Cannon are beefing again, sort of. Nick Nick put out this music video. Uh, here she be. I can't play it. In the position of ah. See, that's all I can play. He. 
uh, put out a music video. Fucking um, shitting all over Eminem for whatever reason. I don't know. It's kind of stupid. Like, I'm not. This is not like the MKG beef with Eminem. This is like. I don't know what the fuck Nick is trying to do here. Because back in the day, back in like the prime of Eminem's, uh, you know, rap career, he 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 went after Nick Cannon in his music because of you know, Mariah Carey or whatever. And then that kind of died off. And now he's Nick Cannon's just coming back at him for no reason at all. Like there's not even a reason. And so Eminem tweets, you mad, bro? Stop lying on my dick. I never even had a chauffeur, you bougie fuck. Because Nick in the music video said something about him having a chauffeur. I don't know. And then Eminem says, I demanded apology, Nicholas. You've made my gardener so jealous. And again, you know, another comment from this fucking stupid video. The rap is... Yeah, not very great. The music video is not very great. Like the whole thing is just the guy is he's trying too hard and he's not getting anywhere with it. Like literally every one of his comments are just people shitting all over him and talking about how how he's wasting his time. I don't know what he's trying to do. He's on this and Nick's on this show called The Masked Singer. Celebrities get up on stage and they're dressed in a costume and they're singing a song and you got to figure out who it is. I think, something like that. And he's constantly tweeting about it. And he's constantly tweeting at Eminem trying to get him on the show. So I don't know if this is some sort of ploy to get Eminem involved in this somehow to promote The Masked Singer because I'm sure it's not getting a lot of uh, traction I never heard of it. I never heard of it until Nick put out this stupid music video. It's it's an okay beat to the song. Then they listen that you will But uh It's nothing. Like when MKG put out his rap Against Eminem. I sound like a fucking boomer. <laughs> you know, back in the, 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 the MKG Eminem bullshit. I enjoyed every bit of that beef. I enjoyed what MKG was saying. I enjoyed his, his rap. The battle. What do you call it? I can't... I'm trying to think of the word, like... When rappers... What do you call it? It's not a rap battle. I don't even... I don't even know. Can't remember. I am just so hungry and unbelievably tired right now because I just got off work. And I was like, I got a podcast. So I sat down and I... Well, I showered and then I came right in here. So why don't we um why don't we go ahead and just do a s- slight bit of reddit because I am just uh someone who mooches off other people's content I guess to lift hundreds of pounds Whoa, it broke. You broke that shit. I don't want... I don't even know if I... What the hell is this? What the fuck? Why does it look like that? What the hell? How is that an optical illusion? How is that happening? Uh, 
Okay. I don't I don't even know if I wanna Yeah. Yeah. Hiccups. I don't know if I wanna do this Reddit segment anymore. I don't know. I just don't it doesn't it's nothing, you know? I'm just I'm literally just looking at other people's content. And they get full credit because I, you know, you see all their information here, but uh, I don't know, dude. When I first started it, I was all for it. But now I'm like, I don't know if I want this. Like I said, there's going to be changes in the podcast. I may not even do any online shit from here on out. I might just do what I have planned in my head. I'm sure. I mean, yeah, I'll talk about what's in the in the in the news every now and then. But I don't want this podcast to be just something that I'm doing just to get out information about what's going on in pop culture just so I can get the views. You know what I'm saying? I want it to be unique, creative, and new, fresh. And so, yeah, I got to pontificate on ideas. I got to eat right now, though, because I'm hangry. I'm not hangry. I'm just hungry. So, expect the Dynamite Gizmo format to change for the better. It'll still, it'll still have this flair and the same. It'll still be the same in this aspect. Uh, you know, I'm still gonna utilize the mushroom, in the table and the mic. But it's gonna, there's, the, there's stuff I have to do, to spice this up. So expect that. M- Probably not next episode, but maybe the following. Who knows? Uno. I don't know. I might end up having to fucking go away to work again eventually, and so that's going to interfere with all of this. But anyway, with that being said, that is it for this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. Episode 135. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, bell subscribe hit the bell subscribe hit the bell and subscribe hit the bell hope to see you in the next one bye 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 everyone goodbye to kill this person ow my fingers ow it hurts ow it hurts me it hurts me Ow, someone help, it hurts me. Gunk. 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 As Chris Delilah would say, Gunk. Gunk, yo. Gagunk, 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 uh, 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 uh.